What do you think? See that strong left hand grip. Yeah, I'm with you, Billy, especially as good as what these fairways are. Anything short and left of this whole location is no picnic now for Berger. The ball's above the feet, and the green pitch is from his right to left, so here's this lob wedge laid wide open. And that one's caught real clean. With the driver. going to catch the right hand rough, but Jim Berger's fourth now. And this is a pretty easy par five this hole right now. <laughs> Instructions from Teddy and he's ready to pull the trigger. <laughs> right and that's in the same bunker. Three bunker shots and really fortunate the flagstick now Bubba has got a beautiful lie on the upslope shouldn't be too much bother here well, he took the very aggressive route there I'm surprised he tried and flew he tried to fly it that far the easiest power five BK interesting development yeah Wilma good had to borrow a ball marker from Ted Scott now Bubba with a little left to right sweeper for the pass save yeah Mark on the guys struggling there. the ball looks like it's sitting Wait. up pretty well might Wait. have gotten a bit of a flyer Wait. so hard to hold these greens Mark, that's a pretty good effort from there. At least Fourth he left time. it below the hole. Long enough, he doesn't need driver here. And the three wood. Oh. Swing beautifully on the driving range. And that is excellent. Confident stroke. Just the second par of the day. And a really good angle for Gary Woodland, just 159. Oh, that's uh, an unforced error from that distance for the long hitter. He did draw a good lie, but he's got to hoist this one up pretty quickly and land it on a down slope. He's got the speed to pull it off, though. Yeah, that's not a bad effort. I mean, that was that was tough Earlier coming from that angle. Had to... At the Wyndham Championship. Beautifully balanced golf swing there from the young South Korean. Down the right side, not quite as good an angle as Matsuyama, but that'll be fine. This one left to right, and not as fast as you would think, because it's into the grain, but that for Woodland will be a nut. For this front hole location, Always interesting, he just almost lets that club really settle and explode through the golf ball. And landing that just in the right spot, kicks up at left. Edge of the hole okay. and let gravity do the business. Finally. Hey, hey. 
We have a birdie on the first, and it came from Hideki Matsuyama. Watch Phil play, and this from the right-hand rough at 10, which is now number one. And Matt may well run off the back in that chipping area. No manager's difficult. Just... This third shot for Mickelson, I would say the first third of the putt is kind of level, but then once it crests off the shoulder that's about a third of the way there, it's turning downhill and gets very quick. A lot of players from this area have hit it well beyond the cup. You can see it this really is promising looking here. Are you kidding me? Beauty. You just wonder how quick the arm was up in the air when he knew it was going in. Oh, Mark Ullman, that was just sensational. Let's, uh... A lot of highlights for Emiliano Grillo. Tee shot for him. Opening hole. And number ninth of the FedEx and Cup, the young United Argentinian. States winner of the 2016 PGA Championship, Jimmy Walker. That's a nice intro, Billy. <laughs> PGA champion. Indeed it is. He's going to have to drive the ball better. Mm. Um, I think he's. I think that's been the, the struggle for Jimmy. He's always good with the putter. He's always good around the greens. Uh, this is where I think he needs to kind of clean it up a little bit. The accuracy. It, look at that. 185th on tour in driving accuracy. And he's long. I mean, he averages over 300, but yeah, again, a mess, miss fairway. Yeah. Ball is wrong. And it's four yards but, off. Uh, obviously, this man right here, Jimmy Walker, the champion. Yeah, not able to get any kind of spin on that one. Only imagine how cool that is. Now, the third for Walker. Oh, fluffy little lie. Got it a, just a tad heavy. Quite On this golf have the course. line. That one peeling rush to the right. Second in this putting stroke. It was always going to be a difficult putt. A lot. The trick's going to be controlling the spin from here. for club short. Upsloping lie. Lots of green to work with. Jordan Spieth over it. Uh, I'm kind of lacking the chances here. Ooh. Caught that little heavy and didn't manage to get any spin on it. That's really surprising from a decent lie oh, in the Casey first cut for Spieth. Three wood. Trying to stay short of the group of bunkers down the left side. And manages to it hit the fairway. Up, came out way before the tee time and worked very hard in this length of putt and especially down the hill and left to right. Winner at the Deutsche Bank so this year, Roy McElroy, going with driver. Ooh, when you see that move right there, <laughs> you pretty much, oh my oh, goodness. Man, that's Did that go one deep. 13 yards. Should be a green light special here for McElroy. Wedge in hand. Really not trying to do too much with it. Trying to get it to spin back. Ooh. Oh, it misses that slope, unfortunately. Surprised. I, th I thought he'd get more spin on that. Billy. I thought that may the first come back just. When he walked up to the green, Bill, he actually just stood on the front of the green and kind of looked up the hill at the line of this. So interesting way of reading it. Michael Roy, this was Paul Casey with his bunker shot. Clean line in the bunker. Maybe just a little bit on the upslope, it looks like. Yeah. And just drips it out of the bunker, Jay. That's the first player we've seen That's come up left. short. Yeah, I think. Very nice. That's a good confidence builder for Paul Casey. Uh, Roy for par. And how about that? I mean. Quick move of the head there, Billy. 15 feet above the hole. You walk away with five. Paul Casey, right hand. Oh. 
I'm sorry. Fumbled it. I'm sorry. Where did that one go? And from Australia, winner of the 2016 Players' Championship, Jason Day. And the two Aussies playing together as they will be in a little while at the World Cup of Golf in Melbourne. And I think this is a good club choice for Jason Day. Yeah. Uh, this hole, I think, with the trouble left. Uh, and and he's, he's got a two-way miss through uh, the first three parts of the playoff and uh, going with three wood I think I think this is good I mean you look at the driving accuracy yeah. 183rd and it just over just over half you hit half the fairways here at East Lake you're gonna be tired at the end of the day yeah, he's had some issues with that driver cracked it cracked the head earlier this year and just All the lines, all the angles, perfect. It's funny, see Billy, it? I was thinking exactly the same thing. You can see him just trying to take a little bit off Anyone that. Anyone out. Here's Day at the first. I'm going to go. Now the Maybe. other direction This live, Adam Scott. Ooh, slow down. Just massage this one down the hill. Slow down. Incredible there, guys. It's so incredible is the off Number one in FedEx Cup points, Dustin Johnson. Right, Dustin. Right, that, one, that one peeling just a little bit late. Walk 18 <laughs> holes. He looks good. He does look good. Very calm looking swing right there. A for par. Missed the fairway. That beautiful dead-handed approach, putting back up the slope now from right to left. Decision Jason. made. And by his commentary, gnarly lie. Dustin left fairway bunker. Well, you've got to be so strong to elevate it that quickly. They cover that much yardage. That is the shot of the first hole right, right there. Now Patrick Reed, all business here up the hill, right to left. It would only make sense that everything would go that way, but it doesn't. How about pretty, that, Bernie? Pretty, pretty comfortable start. Wind. And when you don't drive in the fairway, it's almost impossible to hit greens. Uh-oh. It doesn't usually come all the way back into the water from there. Right there, not a lot of grass between the club face and ball. to my uh, shot and if I'm looking over there I need to reevaluate my focus well, pro tracer showing us that that one was going left and that area right there coming off that that slope mm-hmm he's aiming at the fringe yeah this slope right there is gonna send it left and it wasn't enough that almost had to go into the fringe. See, yeah, that's what I thought. I thought he was going to have to take it into that fringe. Yep. You just don't know how much inward pressure the young man's putting on himself. Good putt there. Added information that they possibly can you know, with that wind direction. Yeah, that's got to get down. That's got to get down quick. More ways Big. than the obvious. Oh. Yo, got to be joking. <laughs> How... Blame McGirt's caddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's Velocity. your fault. So we see Daniel Berger 
with the shot link data, they know where these guys are going to land the ball. A very unorthodox swing, but uh, he can crush it when he gets a hold of it. Out to the right. Whoa, whoa. Ooh. That will be a challenging. Little blistery out here right now. 138 plays five down. Little cut off wedge for Gary Woodland. Oh, and that might have gone all the way Four down. Mark, the equipment did. dollars. Use whatever gear he wants. This is a long third now by Eastlake standards. 124. Yeah, and this flag today just over that front bunker. Just 12 steps on from the front. Oh, he dialed that one in beautifully. Well Close done. the green. Back up. If anything, wind just slightly in and off his left. And it's driven down through the breeze, just right of the flag, this one. Now but Bubba. Him. If he catches the slope in the wrong spot, he could do something. It's not like he hit that fat. Goodness, his feet were dancing all around that. Green now, Daniel Berger for his birdie. He blew his tee shot way out to the right, but escapes nicely. Just before that, it was Si Woo Kim. Yeah, you've got to play it out a lot more Come to back the right there. Ended up on that back shelf. Nothing really doing here, though, straight back up the slope. But here at 18, Bubba's third. Expected a little breeze, which is now into spin. and off his right hand side. He, he too has pitching wedge just back in the stance. Driving that one in a little low on a very aggressive line, just right of the flag. As the player has the players have fought so far today. And that's a good read. It's just like got just got to hit it. Yeah. Eccleston. After the birdie at the first. This for birdie at 15. He just needs us to watch him. He made it. 270 and he's got the, is that the driver? No, that's a fairway wood. Yeah, I think that's a three wood. Gonna give it a rip though. Big old three wood. And it's plenty. At 18. a little anxiously out to the right. Well, that thing was launched. I mean, totally oh, launched. Perfect. In, yeah, right in that little step cut. It was on a flat lie. There's a green light special <laughs> into the right. It's all about pace. All about the pace. That's from a that good di play. Yeah, from that distance, you really can't pick. He spent a lot of time on this hole on the Tuesday afternoon practice run. Jane hitting from multiple tees. He spent some time over here hitting to different hole locations. So he's got this one dialed in. That's pretty sporty looking there if it's the right distance. Two lovely shots. Very nice. And see who Kim. That's a good leave for Siwu, just in that little chipping area that they've created. Bermuda grass. Hello. 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 The eagle has landed. Siwu <laughs> Kim. An eagle. Ask and you shall receive. My goodness. Does he look at the hole or does he look at the golf ball? The ball this time. Yeah. Okay. Just kind of plays it by ear. Sees 
kind of how you feel. The signal I'm getting is nine iron, and if so, he's going to have to take a bunch off this one downhill, slightly into the breeze. One thirty-eight. Oh, just a beautiful feathered, low flatted ball left the flag. Very nicely done. Just coming off of three birdies on this back nine, so. He's got a pitching wedge in the hand. He can really lean the shaft in it and flight them down. So I think ample club for Casey. This one starts out right of the flag, fading further, right? Well, Jason not... Day's playing nicely. I was wondering how he was going to hold up and uh, seems to be okay. Now Paul Casey for birdie. Yeah, that's way too hard for that line. So he plays well at East Lake. It's a good golf course for him. And another birdie. So that's four birdies in a row. 12, 13, 14, and 15 for the Northern Irishman. Pretty much straight up the hill here for Casey. Shouldn't be much in it. That was a good stroke. All right. Mickelson at the 18th. Today, Mark. Yeah, he's got pitching wedge, Bill, and it is beautiful out right now. The wind is laid down, so ample club for Jason Day. Actually took a little off there. One hoisted high into the left side of the flag. Mm. Too much club, Mark. Beautiful iron shot back at the first. See if he takes a little off this. He hoisted that a mile into the air, Bill, on a very aggressive line. Lovely. Oh, that is 64. a 64. Very good. This doesn't look like the 64, I don't think. So he tried. He tried to hook it up against that yeah, brow, like and, and it's still. Too. Got enough information from the putt from Ryan Moore right there. Dead center. Yes. Well, he's got to just uh, needed to be further out. Now we'll go to Jason Day at 15 and look where he is aiming this. Well, he's got to just uh, needed to be further out. It's it's almost impossible to get that close. <laughs> Adam Scott was just easing off the side of the green, kind of watching proceedings. Not too much in this one down the hill. Perfect. Perfect. There you go. Chris on him. I haven't said a word. It was you. It's going to be me. It was okay. you and Mark. All right. I did see. not say a word. I like his chances. I, I, I'm on. I'm, I'm on board here. Me too. Okay. I'm on board. Okay. I think. Uh, Good stuff from Jimmy Walker. To the 15th tee, here's Patrick Reed. Iron play. Well, that's just a baby pitching wedge on the way there for DJ. Left of the flag. Come back down that slope now. Oh, it oh, hurts. Oh, Russell Knox is going to give it a ride. Tough day striking the ball for Russell. And that, that is a horrible leave. Their side of the fairway kind of also it. missing is Spieth. Let's see if he can corner it over there on that left-hand side to get an angle. <laughs> Just barely over that cross Almost bunker. See the engravings. Let's see if he can figure this one out. That thing's carrying a bunch of speed, guys. Down the slope, because with a blade out of the fringe there, you've got to make sure you get it enough, and you could overcook this one quite easily. Yeah, but I think with this one, I think he really feels as though he can hone in on the line. 
Not letting anybody so far, wipe him so out of their memories. <laughs> Pretty good lie right there, Brian. Not a hard shot. Here was Spieth third a moment ago. Yeah, see, you try to brace in to the down slope. And that almost hit perfectly. Good birdie at 17, and now chance here at 18. Finish birdie, birdie. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Third now from 101. <laughs> yeah, Aaron T shot had to lay up. See, I think this is the correct move. If you cannot get there, ooh, I thought that may come back towards the hole, but if you cannot get there, at least get it to a couple under par. When we saw him at 15, he was plus one. In fact, he made a nice putt for par to stay at plus one. Guess what? Oh, oh, oh. And now he's at minus two. There's nobody on tour offering minus a better three. finish. Down the hill, have, has to be a little cautious with the speed. Yeah, Bill, down that hill, iron most of down iron. the green in that one. Chapel hit a six iron. When you see that, and then you see Roy McElroy. Having to work this hard for par, you, you kind of that's where he's kind of looking in that area right there. That's right. You, you tempted to cut the corner, but you can't do it. And that's exactly where he hit it. Oof. And that's unlucky. unlucky. Hit. Same deal. This is where Adam is looking right there. Going with less than driver, which I think is a smart play because all you need to do is get it propelling down these slopes. You're going to hit the second hill, the second tier. You're going to go all the way down to the Expo bottom. trip so far down the 18th. Yeah, see if he goes for that high cut. Find some yardage. Find some. I think, and keep it on the green. Yeah, I think you're playing for for a third leave. Where do you leave it? Which gives you the best opportunity to get it up and down. Yeah. Pretty good leave. Using that little entryway on the left, that was pretty smart to create that spin. Oh. And he's completely dulled in now. Those eyes are tracking up and down this line. Everything is really getting a sense for this one. Everything working that direction. Well, he hit his apex. Just a little chuckle with Cole and Jason, but back at the tee, Patrick Reed, tee shot. Trying to hit that big looper out there. And that may be a tough layup. It's there. much further left. Yeah. I mean, that's the spot he has to take it. <laughs> that's exactly where he hit it. Yeah, that, that would go right through the target. And will it hang on? That's it. Just barely through. I'm just going to tell you, that's a joke. <laughs> OK. Patrick Reed's third here, Mark. Lie decent, and he has hoisted that way upstairs to try and use some elevation, and that could get a little assist from the slope indeed. There you are. Colored grass, that means the grain going 
heading in that direction. The only spots on the green, the old cups, and Patrick Reed's coin for the outright lead, and all he had to do was hit it. Lines a line on the ball to the cup, and he's looking for this one to move a long way to the right. Of course, with always the, over as aim. difficult as it's playing right now. Oh, he's got this aimed outside the hole also. Okay, what a round for Dustin Johnson joins Hideki Matsuyama and Kevin Chappell in the lead. At three out here right now, 138, plays five down. Little cutoff wedge for Gary Woodland. Oh, and that might have gone all the way down. Mark, it did. Dollars. Use whatever gear he wants. This is a long third now by Eastlake standards, 124. Yeah, and this flag today just over that front bunker. Just 12 steps on from the front. Oh, he dialed that one in beautifully. Well done. Close the green. There you go. If anything, wind just slightly in and off his left. And it's driven down through the breeze, just right of the flag, this one. Now what Bubba. Him? If he catches the slope in the wrong spot, he could do something. Something like he hit that fat. Goodness, his feet were dancing all around that. Green now, Daniel Berger for his birdie. He blew his tee shot way out to the right, but escapes nicely just before that. It was Si Woo Kim. Yeah, you've got to play it out a lot more Come to back the right when you there. Hit it up on that back shelf. Nothing really doing here, though, straight back up the slope. They get here at 18. Bubba's third. Expected a little breeze, which is now into spin. and off his right hand side. He, he too has pitching wedge just back in the stance. Driving that one in a little low on a very aggressive line, just right of the flag. As the player has the players have thought so far today. And that's a good read. It's just like got pacing. just got to hit it. Yeah. Eccleston. After the birdie at the first. This for birdie at 15. He just needs us to watch him. He made a 270 and he's got the, is that the driver? No, that's a fairway wood. Yeah, I think that's a three wood. Gonna give it a rip though. Big old three wood. And it's plenty. At 18. a little anxiously out to the right. Well, that thing was launched. I mean, totally oh, launched. Perfect. In, yeah, right in that little step cut. It was on a flat lie. Is a green light special <laughs> and to the right it's all about pace all about the pace that's from a that good play yeah from that distance you really can't pick he spent a lot of time on this hole on the tuesday afternoon practice run jane hitting from multiple tees he spent some time over here hitting to different hole locations so he's got this one dialed in That's pretty sporty looking there if it's the right distance. Two lovely shots. Very nice. Now, see who Kim. That's a good leave for Siwoo, just in that little chipping area that they've created. Bermuda grass. Hello. 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 The eagle has landed. Uh, Siwoo Kim. An eagle. 
Ask and ye shall receive. My goodness. Does he look at the hole or does he look at the golf ball? The ball this time. Yeah. Okay. Just kind of plays it by ear, sees kind of how he feels. The feel. signal I'm getting is nine iron, and if so, he's going to have to take a bunch off this one downhill, slightly into the breeze, 138. Oh, just a beautiful feathered, low flooded ball left the flag. Very nicely done. Just coming off of three birdies on this back nine, so. He's got a pitching wedge in the hand. He can really lean the shaft in it and flight them down. So I think ample club for Casey. Ten, which is now number one. And that may well run off the back in that chipping area. No managers. Difficult. Just... This third shot for Mickelson. I would say the first third of the putt is kind of level, but then once it crests off the shoulder that's about a third of the way there, it's turning downhill and gets very quick. A lot of players from this area have hit it well beyond the cup. You can see this really is promising up. looking here. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh. <laughs> beauty. You just wonder how quick the arm was up in the air when he knew it was going in. Oh, Mark Edelman, that was just sensational. Let's, uh... A lot of highlights for Emiliano Grillo. Tee shot for him. Opening hole. You're number ninth in the FedEx and Cup, the young Argentinian. States, winner of the 2016 PGA Championship, Jimmy Walker. That's a nice intro, Billy. <laughs> PGA Champion. Indeed it is. He's going to have to drive the ball better. Um, I think he's. I think that's been the, the struggle for Jimmy. He's always good with the putter. He's always good around the greens. Uh, this is where I think he needs to kind of clean it up a little bit, the accuracy. It, look at that, 185th on tour in driving accuracy. And he's long. I mean, he averages over 300, but yeah, again, a mess, miss fairway. Yeah. Ball is wrong. It's four yards but, off. Uh, obviously, this man right here, Jimmy Walker, the champion. <laughs> yeah, not able to get any kind of spin on that one. Only imagine how cool that is. Now, the third for Walker. Oh, a fluffy little lie. Got it a, just a tad heavy. Didn't quite on this golf have the course. line. Healing rush to the right. Second in this putting stroke. It was always going to be a difficult putt. A lot of the trick's going to be controlling the spin from here. Half a club short. Upsloping lie. Lots of green to work with. Jordan Spieth over it. Uh, I'm kind of liking the chances here. Caught that little heavy and didn't manage to get any spin on it. That's really surprising from a decent line. Oh, the first Casey with speed. a three wood. Trying to stay short of the group of bunkers down the left side. And manages to it hit the fairway. Out, came out way before the tee time and worked very hard in this length of putt and especially down the hill and left to right. Winner at the Deutsche Bank so this year, Roy McElroy, going with driver. Ooh, when you see that move right there, <laughs> you pretty much. Oh my, oh my goodness! That's Did that go one deep? By Thirteen yards. This should be a green light special here for McElroy. Wedge in hand. Really not trying to do too much with it. Trying to get it to spin back. Misses that slope, unfortunately. Surprised. I thought, I thought he'd get more spin on that. Billy. I thought that may the first. come back just. When he walked up to the green, Bill, he actually just stood on the front of the green and kind of looked up the hill at the line of this. So interesting way of reading it. Look good for a long. 
long time. It wasn't for lack of pace. Michael Roy, this was Paul Casey with his bunker shot. Clean line in the bunker, maybe just a little bit on the upslope, it looks like. Yeah. And just drips it out of the bunker, Jay. That's the first player we've seen That's come up left. short. Yeah, I think. Very nice. That's a good confidence builder for Paul Casey. Uh, Roy for par. And how about that? I mean. Quick move of the head there, Billy. 15 feet above the hole. You walk away with five. Paul Casey, right hand. Oh, I'm sorry. Pummeled it. I'm sorry. Where did that one go? And from Australia, winner of the 2016 Players' Championship, Jason Day. And two Aussies playing together as they will be in a little while at the World Cup of Golf in Melbourne. And I think this is a good club choice for Jason Day. Uh, this hole, I think, with the trouble left, uh, and and he's he's got a two-way miss through uh, the first three parts of the playoff, and uh, going with three wood, I think I think this is good. I mean, you look at the driving accuracy, 183rd, and it just over just over half. You hit half the fairways here at East Lake, you're going to be tired at the end of the day. Yeah, he's had some issues with that driver, cracked it, cracked the head earlier this year and just. All the lines, all the angles, perfect. It's funny, see Billy, it. I was thinking exactly the same thing. You see him just trying to take a little bit off Anyone that. Anyone out. Here's Day at the first. Moment ago. Now the Maybe. other direction. This live, Adam Scott. Slow down. Just massage this one down the hill. Slow down. Incredible there, guys. It's so incredible is the off. Number one in FedEx Cup points, Dustin Johnson. Right, right, well, that one, that one peeling just a little bit late. Walk 18 holes. He looks good. He does look good. Very calm looking swing right there. So both players A for par. missed the fairway. That beautiful dead handed approach putting back up the slope now from right to left. Decision Jason. made. And by his commentary, gnarly lie. Dustin left fairway bunker. Well, you've got to be so strong. To elevate it that quickly and cover that much yardage. That is the shot of the first shot hole exactly. right there. Now Patrick Reed, all business here up the hill right to left. It would only make sense that everything would go that way, but it doesn't. A little wind, start. and when you don't drive it in the fairway, it's almost impossible to hit greens. Uh oh. It doesn't usually come all the way back into the water from there. Right there. Not a lot of grass between the club face and ball. to my uh, shot. And if I'm looking over there, I need to reevaluate my focus. Well, Pro Tracer showing us that that one was going left. and That area right there, coming off that, that slope. Mm -hmm. He's aiming at the fringe. Yeah, this slope right there is going to send it left. And it wasn't enough. That almost had to go into the fringe. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought he was going to have to take it into that fringe. Yep. You just don't know how much inward pressure the young man's putting on himself. 
if not there, added information that they possibly can, you know, with that wind direction. Yeah, that's got to get down. That's got to get down quick. More ways than the obvious. Yo, got to be joking. <laughs> so blame McGirt's caddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's your velocity. fault. As we see Daniel Berger with the shot link data, they know where these guys are going to land the ball. A very unorthodox swing, but uh, he can crush it when he gets a hold of it. Out to the right. Whoa. whoa. Oh. That will be a challenging. Little blister. This one starts out right of the flag, fading further, right? Now, yeah. Jason no. Day's playing nicely. I was wondering how he was going to hold up, and uh, seems to be okay. Now, Paul Casey for birdie. Yeah, that's way too hard for that line. So he plays well at East Lake. It's a good golf course for him. And another birdie, so that's four birdies in a row. 12, 13, 14, and 15 for the Northern Irishman. Pretty much straight up the hill here for Casey. Shouldn't be much in it. That's a good stroke. All right. Mickelson at the 18th. Today, Mark. He's got pitching wedge, Bill, and it is beautiful out right now. The wind is laid down, so ample club for Jason Day. Actually took a little off there. One hoisted high into the left side of the flag. Mm, too much club, Mark. Well, hit a beautiful iron shot back at the first. See if he takes a little off this. He hoisted that a mile into the air, Bill, on a very aggressive line. Lovely. Oh, that is a 64. Very good. This doesn't look like the 64, I don't think. So he tried. He tried to hook it up against that yeah, brow, like and, and it's still too. got enough information from the putt from Ryan Moore right there. Dead center. Well, he's got to just uh, needed to be further out. Now we'll go to Jason Day at 15. And look where he is aiming this. Well, he's got to just uh, needed to be further out. It's it's almost impossible to get that close. <laughs> Adam Scott was just easing off the side of the green, kind of watching proceedings. Not too much in this one down the hill. Perfect. Perfect. There you go. Just on him. I haven't said a word. It was you. It's going to be me. It was okay. you and Mark. All right. I did see. not say a word. I like his chances. I, I, I'm, on, I'm, I'm on board here. Yeah. Me too. Okay. I'm on board. Okay. I think... Uh, Good stuff from Jimmy Walker. To the 15th tee, here's Patrick Reed. Iron play. Well, that's just a baby pitching wedge on the way there for DJ. Left of the flag. Come back down that slope now. Oh, it oh, oh, is. Russell Knox is going to give it a ride. Well, tough day striking the ball for Russell. And that. That is a horrible leave. Their side of the fairway also it. missing is Spieth. We'll see if he can corner it over there on that left-hand side to get an angle. <laughs> Just barely over that cross. Almost see the engravings. Let's see if he can figure this one out. That thing's carrying a bunch of speed, guys. Down the slope because 
with the blade out of the fringe there. You've got to make sure you get it enough, and you could overcook this one quite easily. Yeah, but I think with this one, I think he really feels as though he can hone in on the line. Not letting anybody so far, wipe him so out of their memories. <laughs> Pretty good lie right there, Brian. Not a hard shot. Here was Spieth's third a moment ago. Yeah, see, so you try to brace in to the down slope. And that almost hit perfectly. Good birdie at 17, and now... What do you think? See that strong left-hand grip. Yeah. yeah, I'm with you, Billy, especially as good as what these fairways are. Anything short and left of this whole location is no picnic now for Berger. The ball's above the feet, and the green pitch is from his right to left, so here's this lob wedge laid wide open. And that one's caught real clean. With the driver. Going to catch the right hand rough, but Jim Berger's fourth now. And this is a pretty easy par five, this hole right now. <laughs> Instructions from Teddy, and he's ready to pull the trigger. <laughs> up, and that's in the same bunker. Bunker shots and really fortunate the flagstick now. Bubba has got a beautiful lie on the upslope, shouldn't be too much bother here. He took the very aggressive route there. I'm surprised he tried and flew, he tried to fly it that far. the easiest power five BK interesting development yeah Wilma Good had to borrow a ball marker from Ted Scott now Bubba with a little left to right sweeper for the pass save yeah Mark on the other guy struggling the ball looks like it's sitting Wait. up pretty well might Wait. have gotten a bit of a flyer Wait. so hard to hold these greens Mark, that's a pretty good effort from there. At least Fourth he left time. it below the hole. Long enough, he doesn't need driver here. And with the three wood. Oh. Swinging beautifully on the driving range. And that is excellent. Confident stroke. Just the second par of the day. And a really good angle for Gary Woodland, just 159. Oh, that's uh, an unforced error from that distance for the long hitter. He did draw a good lie, but he's got to hoist this one up pretty quickly and land it on a down slope. He's got the speed to pull it off, though. Yeah, that's not a bad effort. I mean, that was that was tough Earlier coming from that angle. Had to... At the Wyndham Championship. Beautifully balanced golf swing there from the young South Korean. 
Down the right side, not quite as good an angle as Matsuyama, but that'll be fine. This one left to right, and not as fast as you would think, because it's into the grain, but that for Woodland will be a nut. For this front hole location, Always interesting, he just almost lets that club really settle and explode through the golf ball. And landed that just in the right spot, kicks up at left. <laughs> Edge of the okay. hole and let gravity do the business. on the first and it came from Hideki Matsuyama. Let's Phil play and this from the right hand rough at